This weekend, the Community and Animal Rescue of Mississippi released a statement informing the public of an outbreak at their cattery. WJTV 12's Tara Thomas has more from a former employee in an exclusive interview you'll only see here on WJTV. A no-kill animal shelter in Jackson killed 120 cats this afternoon, according to former employees who were fired Saturday after learning the news of the director's plan to euthanize every cat resident at the facility. The reason? The director at Community Animal Rescue and Adoption says some of the cats tested positive for a respiratory virus called Khaleesi virus. They were unable to test all of the cats. And I know that the few that were tested, some come back negative. And I understand it's a, a terrible disease, you know, a terrible virus, and it, and, it, and it spreads. I just wish I knew for a fact that all, all options had been exhausted before they all got put down. We are told by a veterinarian that the Khaleesi virus is treatable and furthermore it is preventable with vaccination, which begs further question about the staff here at the facility and why did they not vaccinate the cats? I tried to speak with staff and the director today for answers prior to the mass euthanization, but I was met with shades being drawn and a door being locked as I arrived can't really answer that because I don't know because I did work in the back in the cattery so I don't know exactly what happened once they come in. I know I'm going to get retaliation for this but I, I feel like that my job is to speak for for the ones that don't have a voice and uh, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, there were a lot that couldn't say hey I'm fine you know I'm not sick. So, uh, I basically, I'm not trying to ruin um, their business because that's going to affect the animals that are still there. If anything, I want to uh, encourage the opposite. You know, please adopt. Please adopt them and donate because they need it more than you know. Reporting in Jackson, Tara Thomas, WJ TV 12. And we wanted to learn more about the Khaleesi virus, so we spoke with a local veterinarian. He tells WJTV the best way to treat and avoid the airborne feline virus is to vaccinate your cats. No matter if they're inside, outside, outside, or strictly inside, that those kittens, uh, or when their kittens are vaccinated uh, completely uh, with a uh, with a partially available Khaleesi virus vaccine, that is usually a component of um, the kitten vaccine series administered by most veterinarians, so that's that's the good news. And he adds that shelters like Hera see most of the outbreaks. The shelter released a statement yesterday saying it plans to open another cattery in the future.